Hi guys, it's Wholesome Mom Life. This is my grocery haul for the week, also a clearance haul. I spent quite a bit out of pocket for this. So there's some other items not in the frame I will show you in a second. This is my Walmart haul. Um, I did not decide to do Kroger this week, or at least I haven't decided yet to do Kroger, but there are a ton of deals, great, great, great deals. Um, and I will have all of those for you in the printable doc below. So please check that out. I may go over some with you in a second and do a voiceover so I can show you what you should get at Kroger this week if you decide to go to Kroger. So let's get into this. The salmon, I, I don't know if this has just gone at the price or what. I used to get salmon on clearance for like four or five dollars. So this is $7.74 on clearance. It was originally $12.29. So that was a pretty good deal. I decided to pick some of that up. I got a roast on clearance for $12.74. I thought that was a pretty good deal. I always love to get clearance meat. And then this I got the lean ground beef, which is what I personally always buy is lean ground beef. $13.44 for four and a half pounds, which comes out to around $2.98 a pound, which is a great price for lean beef. Um, so that was a great deal. And I'll just split it up into freezer bags and freeze that. So all of this will go in the freezer. That's usually how I get my meat is I get it on clearance and then I freeze it. And we use it when we need it. I just needed to pick up some cheese. That was just $2.22, I believe, not on clearance. Um, this was almost $7, like $6.97, which is ridiculous. But I really want my daughter to try to learn how to feed herself now. So um, I got her these little silicone spoons. We'll see how that goes. I really didn't need those, but they didn't have anything else there that was a better deal. So picked that up. Might might return it. I'm not sure yet. The biotin was $2.98 and these are the smaller bottles, the eight fluid ounce bottles. $2.98. I had a $1.50 uh, paper coupon. I think the limit was four, but I only had two coupons. So, and then there was a $1.50 back on Ibotta. So making those completely free after the rebate. The Wee yogurts were, I think, $1.34 each. I had 25 cents back on each one on Ibotta and uh, a dollar off of four internet printable. The Stonyfield yogurt I got for my daughter, the plain whole milk one, uh, $3.67. There was a dollar fifty back when I bought us, so decided to pick that up. The rest is just clearance items, so I'm really excited to show you them. This um, candle, they had a bunch of different fall winter scents on clearance on an end cap in my store. So this was $2.50 and this was $3.50, so I think that was a great buy for some reason I scanned one of the candles twice so I'll have to go get that fixed I don't know what happened there I don't know so this one was 350 I believe this one was 250 if you want the UPC I'll go ahead and give that to you but there was a bunch of different ones got some duct tape on clearance this is camo duct tape 60 feet so that was on clearance for 350. i got a ton of little girl clothes for next winter for my daughter so i bought some 2t and some 3t things so they were all two dollars each i'm not going to show you the upc because there's just too many of them but um, they had a whole thing of them so i thought that was pretty cool probably should have waited till they went down to a dollar but um two dollars is still a steal for all of these items my daughter was with me and she was like drooling all over that. <laughs> some other pants are so cute. Some little girl shirts. Some more. Just some cute little, cute little shirts. So I'm excited to give those to her. This is like a heated seat. Uh, I was on clearance for $4. So I'm going to go back and get more of those. This heavy duty tarp. It's a 9 by 12 I believe it was half price, so this was $11, which I think is a really great deal. There's the UPC. Let's see for the heated cushion. And then I got this chair. It's like a hunting chair, I guess, to put your stuff in. It's also got this little, like, zipper pouch right here, so you can put stuff in it. There's the UPC. And this was $3.50. So I can show you my receipt. Those were those little, that spoon set right there, $6.97. Parmesan cheese, $2.22. The Wee yogurts were $1.34 each. There's my dollar coupon. The Stonyfield yogurt was $3.67. Uh, the salmon clearance, ground beef clearance, the chuck roast clearance. 
There's one candle for two fifty, the camo tarp for eleven, the hunting stool for three fifty, another candle for three fifty, and apparently another candle for two fifty. So I don't know what happened there. The biotine mouthwash was two ninety eight dollar fifty paper coupon again. The duct tape was three fifty. The heated seat was four dollars. And then all the little girls clothes were two dollars each so i ended up spending about a hundred dollars there since i did spend so much that's why i decided not to go to kroger this week so this is the kroger printable dock you can find linked below i'm just going to go over the deals with you this way this week instead of showing you my haul since i don't have one the post cereal all of the post cereal is uh, 99 cents if you clip this 5x weekly digital coupon however you can get an even better deal on the duncan post cereal honey made s'mores or honey bunches of oats uh, any of those three there's different variations but there's separate ibotta rebates for each one so there's 50 cents off of each one so you could essentially get a box of cereal for 49 cents after the rebate lays chips lays kettle cooked chips doritos and fritos are three for five dollars when you buy three so you have to buy three to get that price which comes out to a dollar 67 each the Red Baron Pizza is four for ten dollars when you buy four, which comes out to two fifty each. If you have a deep freezer, that's a great deal. I think I've seen them go as low as a dollar ninety nine though, so I don't know if you necessarily want to do that, but still a really good price. Kroger ice cream and different different kinds of ice creams it looks like are dollar seventy nine on the Mega Seal, so you don't even need a coupon for that. The Johnsonville sausage are three ninety nine, which is a great price. And then there's a 10 cent any brand sausage on Ibotta. The Fresh Craving Salsa is $3.49 BOGO, which comes out to $1.74 each. The Sargento Balance Break Snacks are $4.19 BOGO, which comes out to $2.09 each. There's a dollar internet printable on coupons.com. There's also a 75 cent digital coupon or paper coupons for 75 cents. So if you use the dollar internet printable, that comes out to $1.09. And then some other Sargento products are BOGO. Not all Sargento products, just some. The Orida frozen fries are $2.69 BOGO, so $1.34 each. Goldfish Pringles and Kraft salad dressing are $0.99 cents on the Mega Sale. That's a good price, but I've seen Kraft dressing go down to $0.49. Cents. So you may not want to stock up at that price. The Almond Breeze Almond Milk half gallon is $1.99 Mega Sale. I think I've seen that go down to 99 cents on the mega sale, but that's still a good price. Quaker cereal, uh, I think Captain Crunch is an example of Quaker cereal, $1.79 on the mega sale, and there's a 75 cent internet printable on the coupons.com website, which comes out to $1.04 for a box of cereal, which is not a great price for couponing cereal, but you know, it's not bad. The Olive, $1.99 with the 5X weekly digital coupon that you have to clip in the app. The Powerade, 59 cents each when you buy eight. I think those are the large bottles. The Utz family size chips are 4.29 BOGO, so 2.14 each. Kraft barbecue sauce, 49 cents on the mega sale. That's a great price. Triscuits are buy two at a dollar and 99 cents each, and that comes out to 3.98, and that's on the mega sale. And then there's a dollar off of two paper coupon, which makes it them a dollar 49 each. And then these deals down here are old, but the Philadelphia cream cheese is still the same deal as last week, $1.49 on the mega sale, and there's 75 cents back on each one on Ibotta, limit of five, at least on my account, which comes out to 74 cents for each block of cream cheese, which is a pretty good price. I have seen them go down cheaper than that. I think I got them for 25 to 50 cents a block before, so uh, you might want to hold off to get an even better deal, but it's still a really good price. So yeah, those are my... Kroger deals. I'll have them linked below. I'll also have some other Walmart deals I didn't have in this video linked below. I hope you guys are able to get out there and get some great deals. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.